course. Okay, so that was the prologue, pretty much. We're gonna actually start getting into the game. Oh, but wait! Forgot about this. This is a bonus game you can do here. It's called Angel Attack. You want me to do this? Oh, well, sure. Right, yeah, I'll just, I'll just kind of show it off. How to play. So basically, you fire your bullets at the angels that come across around here. Developed and distributed by your naughty friends at Platinum Games. Of course. I like how Platinum Games isn't two words, it's just like one. Platinum Games. Like that. So, basically what you do is that you shoot angels. If you headshot them, they automatically give you points. It's like this. It's kind of it's kind of awkward to like sort of aim, but it's a it's just a minor distraction. Mm -hmm. And with the points that you obtain, you can get certain items. Like all of, all of these things over here, mega, mega power-ups, and even a red hot shot if you get more than like 70 points. But what we're going to be getting here, uh, I'd say we get we get some health power-ups first. Green Herb, sounds like Resident Evil. It's almost like it was from the director of Res 2, which it was. And all of the extra points that you have, they convert into halos. Okay, pretty much. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Now let's get into the actual chapter itself. Now this is kind of a weird thing. They have like this weird bayonetta chibi thing. It's a chibi doll. What are those things called? China dolls? Uh, I guess. I believe so, I think, at least. Alright, chapter one, the Angel's Metropolis. I pronounced that right, right? Wrong. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I'm just gonna save over there. Actually, what we should be doing is that we should be saving at, like, every section. Yeah. Saving at every, like, point so that just in case the recording does fuck up, we can just pick up where we left off from, pretty much. Okay. Sure. So, yeah, let's start it off. Just gonna show off these sick combos I can do. It also does the thing that DMC4 does, where if you press the button and wait, then attack. Wait, wait. I'll show it off. Sure. <laughs> you, you do that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> da, da, da. Why is he going that way? Da, 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 da. It's a chaos emerald. A stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. They're in Japan. The They're in Japan. Well, they stopped off at Japan. To point, Probably to get a bite. Oh, yeah. So back goes the stone, but not before everyone figures out where the guy is. You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when <laughs> look at these faded images of Enzo. Oh, Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. So oh taking a train. Oh, we're taking a train to, to that one place. Anyways, you I, th I believe it's Big Red. Long term. Oh, yeah, it's part of Europe. Paradise of Europe. Big Red, yeah, I was right. So I called cool. it. Okay. Yeah. Suddenly, suddenly, random memories of her past. No, we gotta rush it in. There. Entry visas. <laughs> well, they can't really see her, can they? No. So she can get away with that. Alright, let's walk down. Bayonetta! <laughs> it's the actual title screen. Of course. It's better, it's better than like Kingdom Hearts 2 where the title, the title screen appears like 9 hours after you play the game. Man, the PA is saying some crazy shit. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> it's the voices in my head. Alright, let's step off the train like a badass. With her heel out. Yeah, thought so. This is supposed to be paradise? 
I know, it looks looks like a shithole almost. Alright, so here we are at Vigrid. Okay. I'm just gonna basically I'm just gonna shoot these things up a bit to get some halo points. Do, do people know that you're you're invisible, remember? Okay. Yeah, no one can see you doing any of this. I'm pretty sure they but notice the thing. You can note they can note they can notice what's happening. Maybe part of their religious doctrine, but everyone is wearing holy vestments. As long as I'm in Purgatorio, I won't be able to intervene. But that also means that I should be able to get around this place without their interference. Hmm. Okay, so, let's explore around over here. I gotta say, this game looks really nice for like a game back in 2007, I think? 2007, around that time. Mm. I remember thinking the same thing with like DMC4, because this game, Kamiya, when he was directing this game, he worked on... He was playing half of DMC4, so I guess he was kind of inspired by, like, by this. And it's the kind of thing where I look at it and it's like, wow, this actually looks pretty good, like, from back then. So can I take the door like a normal person? Nope. <laughs> let's, let's look at this holy thing over here and just punch the hell out of it. Just like that. And we can get through. So we can... Can we make the jump? And we can do a double jump too. Nice. Uh -huh. Oh, but we need a key though. We need a key. So, first I'm gonna take care of these things because they also have little materials that we can use also. Let's go down here. Jump! Nice. Okay. And this thing here, you gotta open it up by punching it like that. And there's our key. That's a huge key. That is a giant key that somehow shrunk down to size. Oh, mm -hmm. there's enemies. Here's the funny thing about the key. You can use it as a weapon. It's like Kingdom Hearts, if a bit sexier. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, I better get back there. Jump all the way down there. Use the key. Wow, well, that sure fit. It, it fit perfectly, almost. If you're wearing, because this game, the Wii U version has like exclusive Nintendo costumes. Mm -hmm. If you're using the Zelda outfit, which by the way, I think actually looks pretty good. If you're using it, it does like the little doo -doo 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 sound effect. It's pretty cool. A set of two crystal statues born as in pieces. Destroyed in an unnatural manner, as if it can fit the rage powered deeply by a, by a held grudge. Okay. And I guess we're locked by some enemies. The Wicked Weave. So this is pretty much like a finisher of your combo. So when you finish a combo, it ends off with a wicked weave most of the time. I have to. Yeah. Well, not all of them, but a good chunk of them. And well, it's a good way to like finish off your points. Oh, like that. I'm on the controls for this, by the way. Since, you know, it's not a chapter. Let's punch the hell out of him. Yeah, nice. And so are Wicked Weaves like executed like at the end of every combo? They're executed at the end of every combo, yeah. Okay. Whoa, how did I do that? <laughs> I was randomly tapping buttons and then she just sort of did like a flick. Uh -huh. That's the thing about character action games. Things happen and you just discover them by pressing buttons. The Lumen and Umbra Witch. If you wish to walk upon water, you have to dodge the lightning. So here's a little puzzle we have to do. Gotta lift the statues, then activate them, and dodge! And there we go. Now, we can run on water. Just like this. Okay. Excellent. We're gonna have to use those for other puzzles in the game. Now let's go ahead and punch this thing off. Bazinga, right? They're really sparkly. <laughs> okay. Let's go up. And we're into this section over here. Can we harm these people? Well, they can see the, destru the, the destru destruction happening all around you. Just gonna punch these. Well, I'm, I probably shouldn't punch them, but I can just like sort of break them off. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some halos there. I need them. I also noticed the camera's kind of inverted, but I guess we can change those in the options later. If you if you want that, let's walk around. Her wa her walking speed is kind of slow, but it does get better with a certain upgrade you can get to make her movement a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And what's this hellhole over here? Sudden suddenly Rodon. 
stands teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vigridians, they got the Vigridians. <laughs> That's a good thing. Set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're sporting for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to line his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So, so I'm here to help you give. I'm here to help you to give weapons, but I'm not actually helping you. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will. How do the Americans put it? Oh yes, bust a cap in your ass. Oh shit! Oh, I get fucking bodied. Right on. <laughs> All right, so that's the shop that we can enter over here. Uh, why don't we pay him a visit? Let's do. That. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's give him a good old hello. How are you doing? I'm just gonna test out my combo here. I will say that Bayonetta 2 did a much better job with uh, organizing all of the combos because they, they make them a lot faster, pretty much. You here for business or pleasure? Either way, I'll hook you up. Wait, is it is it him giving the pleasure? <laughs> okay. So here's some weapons that we can't access yet. Here's some accessories. Which we can't afford. Okay. Here's some items that we probably don't need yet. Well, actually, uh, let's get a green herb. Mm -hmm. Well, because we already have like one of them, so let's get another one. Now let's get a, a mega green herb also. These things, they also raise your attack power. The red ones. Mm -hmm. The yellow ones, uh, they give you a shield, pretty much. Mm -hmm. The purple ones, they increase your magical power. And they, they also increase the amount of time that you enter witch time also. Oh. Yeah, the red hot shots. Uh, actually, we might need one of these. So in case you die, you get another. You, it gives you more health just in case you lose all of your health. And witch hearts, we can use those to increase our health. And moon pearls increase our magic age. Mm -hmm. So we'll save those for later since we can't exactly afford them just yet. Now let's buy techniques. Oh wait, no, we can't because all of them are expensive. <laughs> Great. So, yeah, and Rodan's treasures. These are special, like, sort of items that you use. By the way, look at the picture over there. <laughs> I love chicks. Oh, sorry. Everyone loves chicks. Those are penguins. Those are penguins, yeah. They have little okay. halos, too. Cool. So that's pretty much everything the Gates of Hell has to offer. But we're going to go back to that when we farm a bit more. Uh, farm a bit more halos. I see. Do these combos over here. I, I, I like doing this one combo. That's a pretty powerful one. Boom, then attack. Oh shit. Oh <laughs> it God. continues. It also continues on. That's pretty that's pretty cool. Purple oh. butterflies. Okay, those are like sort of cool, cool. Just shoot everything in sight and it'll probably have items in it. No one's here, so it's fine. No one no one will disturb you. Station gates. However, it is sealed shut, maybe due to some sort of alarm. Clashes with the old stone building. The building must be ancient ruins to be a station. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a really like gothic area for it to be like an actual like station, modern station. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, buddy. <laughs> He's like, where are these gunshots coming from? Oh no! 
the history of the station is here. It seems it was converted from an ancient temple. Alright. Let's oh. move on. And these are sort of books we can get if you want to know more about, like, the lore. But we're not going to waste our time with that. I'm just going to look for more things to shoot around, because I want to farm as many items as I can. Oh, get back up. Is there anything else? No? Okay. There's a woman, or a guy. One or the other. Well, let me progress. Oh, wait. It's a cutscene. <laughs> Which means things are things are all flowers. Oh, look Everything's at that. flowers. This is Super Princess Peach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's enemies. How could this possibly be fair? Well, they are angels. Well, they are angels, but still. <laughs> their, their intentions are not the best ones. So these, these are the stronger versions of the other ones, the Applauds. Uh -huh. Or those are just their nicknames. Grrr. <laughs> Squawk! Alright, let's 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 get into combat. What just happened? She's getting ready. <laughs> That's why the random butterfly petal sort of just happened. Yeah, torture attack. You... And also, when you defeat enemies, you can pick up their weapons and use them too. Okay. Just like that. Awesome. And Chapao. Oh. <laughs> I love holding the attack button just in the middle of a combo. Just, just sort of shoot them up. Uh -huh. Spot. Oh, you're still alive. I better get you. Ooh, bam! Like that. Nice. Are there more guys? There's probably more. Oh. I'll just torture you. <laughs> Ouch. That's like a Kirby thing. I know. <laughs> Rapid fire all around you. So hey, look at that weapon. Eh, I could use it, but I, th I think I'm more than capable now. Boom! Like that. I like doing that. Yeah, that's the thing about when I play character action games, like, I memorize most of the combos, but I'm pretty sure Rom here is smashing the buttons. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and expects results from happening to happen. Screw you, get tortured. Ouch. All these things come from, like, the, the depths of hell, I believe. Oh! Okay. 